Easy. How we doing? It's been a cheeky week or so. But I've not picked up the camera for about a week or two. Been waiting for parts to come in. Everything's been taking its time, unfortunately. But with everything that's going on with this COVID and stuff, it's to be expected. But let's have a show you what I have been doing. How is everyone? Don't forget. I appreciate you all coming. Please drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you're in and see what other antics we get up to. On that note, as we all know, we all say, it's in them China Mount, yeah? Please. I thought I'd uh, get some mounts because mine are a bit worn. I'm starting to crack and stuff, they're not even attached. What was kind of annoying was this hardware comes and it's not even the right pitch. There's like a fine, that's like a, that's like a wider thread than this. They don't interlock with each other. So I can't even fit them. So if you are going to buy the uh, front mounts so you're going to replace these two don't use that because what will happen is you'll try and tighten it up in here and it's just going to chew the thread so I've put everything in place I've undone this bolt here and just loosen this one and the whole arm swung I'll show you let's just let's show so we'll just undone this one. And then the mount falls down. So I can then replace the mount. And pull it back up. Sad. Straight in my face. So that was two. Just loosen this one off. Take that one out because you can't get it past this bit of pinch, and obviously, we don't want to cut it. Same with this one, just undone these three, I think there were 17s. Undone this one, took them two out, whole thing swung down. Same again, replace that. This one doesn't have any washers on, and this one I've had to use them two, which come in the kit, to obviously space it to the chassis. So now, unfortunately, I've got to get to West Brom Fasteners or somewhere like that and try and get longer threads, but in the correct fitment. Sound eBay. Well done again. As you can see there, the different heights. So we need it that long, but we need it in this thread. I'll find out tomorrow. And another thing I did was see this lovely red bush and this one here I also done them two twelves pulled it off what I had to do was I had to close this up a little bit so I couldn't get the new one on this one was a 12 mil and they pulled the pin out that fell down put the two new bushes in Bob's your uncle and he's your aunt I have been busy on the Civic don't think I've not been the intercooler's nearly done now you might have seen we was waiting for this one last size because the outlet on the turbo is like two inch and the intercooler is two and a half. Let me get the light again. I need more than two hands for this, you know. Take easy. There's the intercooler and you can see there's the feed. So that will go in there, and then that will go in there. You can see I've just taped it up for now. So when I take it to Shezzy tomorrow, he'll be able to weld it up for me. Then I can paint it black. Then I can fit it to the car. And I'd say that's the intercooler done. Don't worry about that. Yeah, I know. 
Don't worry about it. You must take that boy. So we got some stickers from our friend in Japan. His name's Gary. He owns a company called Little Bit of Japan. And what he does is he finds nice little things in Japan on his travels. Sends them back all around the country and sells them. If you want to go and see him, it's called Little Bit of Japan on Instagram. Little bit of Japan on Instagram. I'll add him in the link below because he's definitely worth knowing to find some nice cheeky little items that any JDM lover would like. Little bit of Japan. I'm going to put one on the crown and one on the S15. Actually, let's go and do it now. Do this space here, mate, just for you. There you go, got it. Thank you very much, mate. Oh, no stickers. There you go. Took the virginity of my crown. Doesn't even got a cut loose on mine. Jesus. Mm -hmm. I've got loads of catching up for the. I've been very slacking really, picking up the camera. It's because I'm sick of waiting for stuff. I feel like nothing's ever coming. Here he is. Oh. <laughs> Today's a new day. We went to see Shizzy. We got him to weld the pipe up. Nice. And then he's put some little, what do you call these? Bevels, revel, nipples. Tommy tipples. Just to stop the pipe coming off. We got the new hardware for them engine mounts. We've now got V-bands to try and mock up some sort of downpipe. We went and seen part box, which it is. And we got new flywheel. Lightweight steel flywheel. Apparently this is 3.99 kilo. Then we got a clutch. Yeah, I win a competition. Clutch release bearing, pilot bearing, lining tool. I've gone for the stage two clutch. And then, yeah boy, pressure plate. So Rich hooked us up with that. And Hex brought it down to us. And then we also, we went to... Super GT and seen Derek and he hooked us up with some can you tell what it is yet? 15mm Nissan wheel spacers. Super GT, 15mm Nissan. And they're for little Chris's 180SX. How about that? Yes. Yes. Oh. Also. Also, of course, follow me. Goodbye, mate. We're all Paris here. Hmm? We bought some steel. This is going to go all over there. Yeah, careful. Okay. <laughs> So 
to make a, make a team. This is what we're going to use for the inner arch of the Civic. I'm now going to paint Wrinkle Tinkle onto the Dinkle, and that will be the intercooler. Finita. This is the final puzzle to the intercooler. Then we've got to mock up for the exhaust. Cuss is washing his yeah. hands because he loves washing. You know that. But. We're getting there. I'm going to throw the two bolts into there and then get that all tightened up. I'm going to paint that pipe there, fit it in there. I am. As you can see, this is a standard one. This is the one that come with the kit, but it's the wrong thread. So now I have got the right thread and the right length. Wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. One. Two. Put them three bolts back in. Put that one nut on and we'll be grand. I want that one's a bit tight, I might have to fettle that one a little bit. I've got a smoke machine over here. You do any tricks, cuz? No. Nothing. No. You not do that tornado or anything? <laughs> there you go, well done. That's how you do the china mounts. Don't use the bolts, buy different ones. Oh, it's starting to tick. See the shine just getting the wrinkle. See you later. You can see the shine there and it's just starting to go as the heat travels through. It's halfway done now. Oh yeah. 